What's up, everybody? Welcome to my new channel, Melanie Mac Go Boom, my social commentary channel. I'm, again, just absolutely super excited about how this has been taking off and all the support that I've gotten. And I just want to thank you all so very heckin' much. And I actually got a lot of comments asking how you can support the channel and all that stuff so I don't have to rely on, on sponsors, especially since I'm more outspoken and I'm at risk of losing them. I, I, first of all, this isn't something I, I even plan to ask for, and I feel so awkward asking for it, but I do really appreciate very much that that's even been asked and that people really do want to help support me, so thank you. If, if that is one of you, uh, I did make a... I think it's called subscribe star. Uh, it's what Jeremy uses, the quartering. Um, I thought, hey, this actually seems cool because my Twitch subs, Twitch takes 50% of it. And that's just ridiculous. It, it is so, I feel like I'm robbing all of my subs every single time because I'm like, they're just giving half of this Twitch when they want to support me. So I definitely think this is way better. Uh, so if you do wish to uh, support my channel and my content and all that kind of stuff i will have a link below they're still approving my page so i don't know when that's going to be active but the link is there uh no pressure or anything like that because i'm going to make these videos regardless because that's how i roll right now <laughs> i'm just i'm just rolling with it so anyway let me dive into today's video there was a viral tweet from a comic book artist named Greg Smallwood. He uh, has worked on on a comic for Elektra, uh, Black, White, and Blood. And he's had his stuff revised and tampered with by Marvel. And it looks, uh, I've, I've, I've just gotta, I just gotta show y'all here. But I, I really wanted to cover this because... First of all, what the crap? And second of all, I love drawing. It's funny because I don't always post about that, but that is my favorite hobby to do is draw. And it is on my bucket list to one day uh, draw my own comics. So I was like, hey, this is this is a topic I would love to discuss. So let me share my screen with you guys. And I'm just going to read over this, this thread. It, it went very viral. So you, a lot of you have likely already seen it. But here we go. Greg says, sad to say that without my approval, Marvel attempted to fix several panels of my art in an issue or in issue two of Electra Black, White, and Blood before sending it to the printers. They're not huge changes, but I really don't like my art being tampered with. I mean, honestly, that is kind of a huge change. So apparently, which I'll go more into detail further, but apparently they thought this was racist, a racist caricature. And their method of fixing it was to uh, uh, just make the pupils smaller i guess uh the lighting whiten the eyes i don't know what i don't know in what universe this ha is seen as an improvement i mean these are uh, first of all you can tell that this this is a small panel and when you're drawing really small panels then then there are certain features that you don't highlight very vividly because it would look super weird far away and, I mean, even looking at, like, this little thumbnail picture right here, um, there's certain, it, it, if, if every little detail was to be super, like, don't, worked on, then you're not gonna, it's not gonna translate when it's smaller. And so, in this case, uh, making this drawn this way and without drawing every little detail with the iris and, and the pupil and all that, uh, it makes it more legible far away also the 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 ethnicity of the character is is irrelevant in that case because that this kind of technique would be beneficial regardless of the ethnicity of the character um so for some reason uh, they they just thought making the pupils and irises smaller fixed that and instead it looks like they put googly eyes on the character so <laughs> let's continue 
He goes, long story short, two months after turning in the finished pages, I was informed by my editor that Marvel's standards and practices flagged my art and requested I redraw several panels so that they would be within tolerance for best representation of Asian characters. Again, I don't know how how this is somehow an improvement. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. This is a very cute character. Um, I, I'm not seeing the problem here. But, yeah. <laughs> it just looks so funny how they whiten the, the eyes there. And I don't I don't get it. And, it, and like, made the iris smaller for some reason. I don't know. And here you go. Now, this looks straight up like googly eyes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's exactly right. Why? And they made his eyes rounder, too. I mean, that's the expression. Like, when it went the eyebrows up and he's like, whoa, what's going on? Like, that's what happens to your eyes. Not... <laughs> They've solved racism with, with Eurocentric... They colonized him and, and, and solved racism, apparently. Uh, he says his wife, uh, wife and I were expecting our second child the following week. And I was racing to finish an issue of HT before the birth. So I told Marvel that I didn't have time to make the changes, but that I would be perfectly fine with them pulling the story for sensitive concerns. I don't understand how this is offensive. I don't. It, it just. Uh, then he says, I was told that pulling the story was not an option. And if I couldn't do revisions, the Marvel bullpen would take a crack at my pages instead. I stated very clearly that I didn't want anyone touching my art. So I dropped everything I was doing and immediately reworked all the panels that were flagged. You know, and I totally get why he wouldn't want anyone to, to touch his art. I mean, it's. It's unique to him. This is his style. This reflects him. This also goes into his portfolio and any future opportunities he's going to get are reflected on that. And so you don't know what the crap they're going to do like this. Yeah, and then that's on. And, and when the reader sees that, his name is attached to it. I mean, he has every right to be furious over this. Not only did he, he had to drop everything. He had to drop, like, he's got a baby on the way. He's got other stuff going on, like, this and that's the thing is drawing takes so much time. It's very time consuming. And so uh, it's just sad that he had to to put his his family in the back seat to to hit this these goals and all that stuff. So then he said they also attempted to cover up some nudity which just resulted in a muddled mess. Again, something I was willing to fix. <laughs> it's just, it's already covered. <laughs> She's already got her hair covering. There's no, there's a shadow here. I mean, and this is Electra. This is a comic about like there, there's violence in this comic and all that kind of stuff. Like, this isn't made for kids anyway. And even if it was, like, this looks like a like, like some sort of of monster like creature. And like we ain't seen anything like this growing up. So they added more hair here, made it really messy and a loincloth. And they reduced the chest size, of course. Uh, <laughs> because of course. So then he, he does like a timeline cleanse here and shows some of the, the stuff. Here's the cover, which like, holy crap. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It makes me like want to read it, but I ain't gonna read it unless they do a print of his actual work. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna support that that rework. I mean, just the composition, the color, the, the 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 pop of red there. It's just so beautiful. Like goodness, and and what is offensive about this? Nothing. It, that just is is very puzzling to me that and, and I mean it, and you want to look at this panel and see how they added more whites to the eyes when even Electra here from far away she doesn't have the the whites of her eyes super prominent in in that it's just like there is nothing to be offended about here I, I'm puzzled 
Um, so he says, I've got a newborn, a three-year-old, and some tight deadlines to manage right now. So this is all I'm saying on the matter going back into my hole again. So yeah, this is where he's got to gotta do the thing that comic artists do, which is uh, have to draw all day and night um, and and meet their deadlines and probably not be paid uh, nearly enough. So we've got Jen here. She is also a comic book artist. I follow her. Um, I love her work. She's actually great. And she chimed in and said they made your perfectly representative art look uncomfortably close to a series of racial stereotypes. Exactly. They, uh, they're the ones who are guilty of that. Not him. Uh, not only did they make your work look objectively worse, the end product is actually really upsetting and counterproductive from an Asian, pers or Asian sensitivity perspective. Sad. Uh, and then she goes, for those who aren't aware, there is a long history of Asians having our eyes described as suspicious, untrustworthy, etc., uh, literally resulting in the invention of a Eurocentric double eyelid surgery that was then forced upon wounded Korean soldiers by American sur surgeons. Holy crap. I didn't know that. That's wow. Uh, so then someone, it looks like from, who is this? Marvel Comics editor. He replies, because the backlash is pretty massive. I'm already laughing at this right now. We're going to get to that. Um, he says, so sorry, Greg. We'll own the mistake here. I had an email miscommunication on my end, like we spoke about yesterday. As we already assured you, we're using your pages on digital editions and any new printings and collections. And this guy goes, neither of you should be having this dialogue over Twitter. This should have been resolved in private. Then, if deemed appropriate, a uh, comm sent out to the public acknowledging the correction. Why does all this dirty laundry have to be aired in public all around unprofessional? You know what? I disagree with this. I say good for him for exposing this. Good for him for that. Uh, this is tied to his work. He needed to clear the record here. And good for him for doing that. That's just very underhanded of Marvel to even... To even do that. So good for him. I, I think he actually did a good thing. This isn't a case of cancel culture. This isn't a case of trying to ruin someone's life. I mean, this is a giant corporation that doesn't give a crap, you know? Uh, so good for him. <laughs> Marvel bullpen. <laughs> this is just, I loved, I loved seeing them. It's exactly what they did. Like they just, they just made the, the irises and the pupils smaller and called it a day uh, for some reason. Uh, <laughs> they, Marvel has hired any ex security guards from Russia. <laughs> God, I saw this earlier where a million dollar painting was ruined because a board security guard <laughs> draws eyes on the figures. <laughs> That's kind of epic. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on here. And I, you love to see it. You love to see it. Because, like, Marvel, the, the, the U.S. comics, the Western comics industry in general, has been pandering so much to the wokey crowd. And it's like, uh, they deserve this. They they really do. They They've gone so far into pandering to the wokey crowd. The Western comics have been suffering. Uh, we see manga doing so much better, and rightfully so, because they are a lot more creative. They're a lot more fun. Uh, they aren't pandering. It, it's just a lot better. And so, I ain't even, I ain't even mad about this at all. I am not. Maybe, maybe eventually... Um, they'll learn, uh, Marvel and DC will learn to just focus on making comics fun again and to stop constantly trying to appeal to, to a crowd that doesn't even really buy their stuff for the most part anyway. Now, I in, in fashion of what I always like to do on my videos and, and talk about a Bible verse and all that, I... I didn't really have one that came to me that applied to this specific scenario. Um, but I wanted to share this Bible verse anyway, just because I think it's a good one. 
So we're going to do that. Um, this is Psalm 146, 3 through 7. Uh, I, I really feel like this is applicable to today, especially. Look at that. The G Fuel ad. I'm sponsored by G Fuel. Code MAC. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Okay. Anyway. Uh, it says, do not put your trust in princes, which obviously in our cases now would be like, do not put your trust in presidents, in politicians, in celebrities, uh, influential figures. Don't put your trust in me. All that kind of stuff. Uh, and it says, in a son of man in whom there is no salvation, when his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. You know, what, what, what we want and what we want to do, what we want to, want to accomplish is only temporary. And then they'll rewrite your history and portray you however they wish. Uh, it says, blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord, his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, not the wokies, it's God. Uh, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets the prisoners free. So, uh, I just, I like, I love that. I love that passage and I wanted to share it. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments below. And also, if there's anything else that you want me to cover and talk about, I'm always happy to do so and see what y'all suggest. So, thank you again. Uh, someone also suggested that I call my my subscribers the McRebels. I honestly love that because y'all know I'm on a, I'm on this like rebel kick, man. I'm like, hey, we're the resistance. We're the rebels. We're the outcasts. The Wokies have outcasted us. Let's freaking embrace it. So normally I call my my followers the Melomaniacs, and it's like, hey, you know, McRebels is pretty rad. So, <laughs> all right, let's keep it up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.